everybody, Melissa here with MSCR's Virtual Outdoor Club. Today you're joining me from my basement so that I can show you how my family composts. May 29th is National Learn to Compost Day. Uh, and so today that's why you're down here. It inspired me to show you what I do. Now, compost is using the natural process of decay, which breaks down organic or living materials uh, back into nutrients that can be used in your soil. There are lots of different ways that people compost. A lot of people compost outside. They may use their yard scraps as well as their kitchen scraps in piles or bins. My family composts their kitchen scraps. So here I have a Tupperware container that stayed in our refrigerator all week and has all the scraps that we ate. There is coffee grounds, there's carrot peels and Brussels sprouts and apple cores. This stayed in our fridge until it was full and we were ready to bring it downstairs and bury it into our worm bin which is behind me there. And it takes about a month for the worms to break it down and this is what it turns into. Can you see it good? This is called worm castings, which is really another fancy name for worm poop. You can see that it's really dense and it's dark in color. It's not soil, but you could add this to the soil in your garden or in your potted plants, and it adds lots of nutrients that the plants need to grow. Now the worms don't like the light, so this has been here for a while, and all the worms have crawled into the center here. But if I brush it back, you can see some of the worms. These aren't the type of worms that you would find outside if you dig a hole. These are special worms called red wigglers. And you could buy red wigglers by the pound at the garden centers near you, or you can also buy them online. It's pretty fun for a pound of red wiggler worms to come to your house. But you can see all the food has been eaten by the worms and digested into the worm castings after about a month, and we can now use that in our soil. Now the worm bins, there's lots of different ways to make them. And on the notes that I've included with this video, there's a couple different links to a couple different ways that you can do it. But a really great thing is that you don't need a lot of supplies to do it. This was an old Rubbermaid container that we had around the house. Lots of different sizes will work. You do have to drill a hole in the bottom of it to allow some of the moisture to come out. You'll need some newspaper and a little bit of potting soil to get things started for your worms. But after that, they're really great pets. They don't take a lot of attention. You can leave them away when you're on vacation. Uh, and they don't smell either because they are digesting that decomposing food before it smells. So I would love to see if you make a vermiculture bin in your basement, how it goes. I hope that you give it a try for National Composting Day.